What is up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today we're going to be using one of the best restricted mons in the game, Calyrex Ice Rider. Now all the hype is around Shadow Rider, and that probably will be the best, I mean it'll probably win worlds and all, but Calyrex Ice Rider is honestly one of the best things you could use if you're not using the other. Unfortunately both of them cost $90. Anyway, uh, this team was created by Umber Knight, thank you very much. And it's just amazing. First of all, if you know me at all, you know I love Gudra. So as soon as Gudra was put on this team, I just had to use it. But also, I'm a big fan of Glastrier. In Regulation F, I'm a big believer in Glastrier. But what really holds it back is not having a good ice move. Calyrex gets Glacial Lance, which is a 120 power, 100 accuracy spread move which is just absurd. Such an upgrade from Icicle Crash. And Glastrier doesn't even get like Icicle Spear or anything, so it has nothing to compete with this. This Calyrex is Clear Amulet, that's the only item I will ever recommend on this. Incineroar is just going to be everywhere in Regulation G. And it has Terra Ground High Horsepower. High Horsepower is probably the best coverage move you're gonna get, since Ice and Ground hits pretty much unresisted coverage except like Bronzong, I guess? Uh, and it can also, it sets its own trick room, and then just protect in the last slot. Uh, they went with Terra Ground to get more damage off the high horsepower, which I really like, because Incineroar can pretty easily live a high horsepower if you don't have a boost yet, even with your clear amulet blocking the Intimidate. The rest of this team is support for Calyrex and support for Gudra. Uh, the Nine Tails can set Aurora Veil and set Snow, Calyrex is already ungodly tanky, so having all this Aurora Veil and Snow, just it becomes unkoable. Uh, water Ogre Pond and Incineroar form a Fire Water Grass Core. You're going to be seeing those two paired together a lot in Regulation G, is my guess, because they're just so good. Incineroar is great into the Calyrex Shadow. It's great into all of the physical mons, though a lot of them are going to be running Clear Amulet. So op other options from Incineroar might be viable. Uh, and Ogre Pond is great. It's great against uh, ground moves. It's good against Groudon. It's great against Kyogre. I don't know how big Kyogre is going to be, uh, but with Ogre Pond running around, Kyogre's life is going to be difficult. This team also has an Okie Dogie, which is a super cool mon. Uh, I, I ran into it a few times in the last Global Challenge in Regulation F, and it just does so well. Guard Dog is a great ability, it's basically defiant, and this set Poison Jab, Drain Punch, Knock Off, Upper Hand, that covers everything you really need. Uh, and then finally Gudra, you know I love Gudra. This one has Life Dew, so it can actually support Calyrex uh, if, if you don't be sweeping with Gudra, or you can just set up all the shelters and sweep with Gudra. I'm super excited to play this team. Uh, it's going to be on the casual ladder, there's still a bit of time before the rank ladder comes up, but I promise I'm going to find some Regulation G teams to send this against because this is a really powerful team. Let's go. Alright, Kazi. Uh, you don't have a restricted, but you do have a solid team. Um, that is one, two, three, four ice weaknesses. Amazing. All right, now how do I want to get up Trick Room? Uh, they have a Fake Out lead. They have a Moongus, actually, could be a trouble inside Trick Room. What's our Terra? Ground? All right, we'll need... We'll need uh, Ogre Pond once Trick Room goes up. So I don't want to burn that right away before I set Trick Room. Maybe I want to... I mean, I want to get Trick Room up immediately. And then I want to bring in Ogre Pond. So who can help me do that? Uh, Okie Dogie could stop a Fake Out, maybe. I'm wondering if I just lead Incineroar anyway, knowing they're going to use Zapdos. That's an option. Like, yeah, maybe they catch me with the Zapdos, but oh well. Things happen. Uh, and they are pretty physical, and I have Fairy Terra on this Gudra, so I think it could work against Moltres, and it could work against all their physical attackers. 
The biggest problem is gonna be Among Us. That's a cool card. Yeah, but Amoongus is going to be my main concern. And they just lead Homefei Moltres. That's fine. That's great. I'm happy with this. You cannot eat berries, but you probably have weakness policy on that thing. I think I'm fine to try to set up Trick Room. Try, because Comfey also learns Trick Room and could just reverse it. And not a parting shot, a fake out into the Moltres. It's just to protect, that's cool. Are you protecting Moltres as well? You are, that's fine. I'm honestly okay with that, don't care. We are gonna get set up. Trick Room is happening. The horse is coming at you. All right, Glacial Lance. Now my question is whether I want to parting shot out or just click Snarl. Do I want Incineroar on the field? Glacial Lance, and I'll, I'm just gonna click Snarl for now. They probably terrestrialize their Moltres. Yeah, they don't want to take the super effective ice move. I'm probably gonna be activating Berserk, but they can't eat a berry if they have it. Because of the unnerve. I do activate it, so I'm glad I snarled. Get them back down. I understand that I'm weak to dark, I just don't care, because Moltres at neutral isn't very strong. Yeah, you can go ahead and Nasty Plot. And Calm Mind. That's interesting, I guess. Alright, you can pretty easily and freely heal up your Moltres. Or so you think. Because if Glacial Lance does that, how much are you going to take from a stab high horsepower? Quite a bit, I would think. And then in case you protect, I will go ahead and Flare Blitz, finishing off combat. Yeah, what you got for this? Ice Ground is such good coverage. Like, yeah, this, the, only these two attacks, it's all it needs. Like, what resists that? Bronzong? And, like, Araquanid? They do actually end up protecting Moltres and Comfey. Oh, they see this coming now. Yeah, that makes sense. Just stall an extra turn in Trick Room. It's fine. I get it. Perfectly okay. All right. Now you must have a ground swap in just to stall me out even more, right? Ground swap in would be. Could be Zapdos. Could be Rillaboom. I think in that case, I do want to just click Glacial Lance. And Flare Blitz. Yep, they're gonna heal up. I'm gonna get the Glacial Lance and the Flare Blitz. Should knock out Comfey. they'll be pretty boosted. They just got another Berserk. I hit them with a Snarl. They got Berserk earlier. They nasty plotted. So a hit could hurt from Moltres here. But now my attack is up. And let's see how well you take this Flare Blitz. No, you don't take this Flare Blitz. Okay. Good job, Incineroar. I'm over here worried about how much Fiery Wrath is gonna do. The answer is none, because you die. <laughs> Excellent. And Trick Room's still up. I guess we went, what, Lance? High Horsepower Lance, this is the last turn. And there's Amoongus. A 
So, what I gotta do is I gotta protect. And bring in Water Pond. And battle was just cancelled. GG. That's the power of the horse. Good card, though. Oh, okay. That is a very interesting team. I gotta say, that's the kind of stuff you see on Casual Ladder. That is a very interesting team. I really hope you're cooking up something spicy. I'm here for it. Uh, I'm just gonna have to go the standard route. Um, do I want Incin or do I want... Veil, maybe? I want to guarantee Trick Room goes up. And I think the best way to do that is with Water Pond here. How many physical do they have? Just Go Goat, really. And maybe the Zeb Strika. So I don't think setting up snow is really that important. But I like Ninetales with the helping hand. And just in case things get weird, Snarl Incineroar is pretty nice. Like, if they have some stuff I'm not expecting, and they get Calyrex down, it'll be nice to have Incineroar. This Incineroar in particular. Alright, Will, with your Galvantula and your... your... Kilowattrel, your Zeb Strika. Go Goat! And what, was those, what were those others? Miss Magius and Noivern? It took me a while to even think of those names. That's how often I say those. Oh, you have no card though. Uh, I don't know. Like, I've honestly, I don't think I've fought any of these Pokemon on my channel to date. I think. I Maybe someone in the comments is gonna know all of my videos and be like, Oh, actually you fought uh, this on February 27th or something. But I don't think I've fought any of those ever. Alright, we're just gonna stick to the formula. We're gonna trick room, we're gonna follow me. And then we're gonna blow everything up. Simple as. A Discharge. Okay, that's really cool. Motor Drive Booster Speed, that won't be very useful to you. Oh, you did get the Para, though. That could be annoying. Calyrex is... Oh, another Speed Boost. You really gotta go fast. I sure hope I get the Trick Room. I do get the Trick Room. Okay. Well, I can block more electric damage by terastalizing, but I don't know if I care. I just want to throw a lance and keep following me. Because the electric damage wasn't doing too much anyway. Oh, <laughs> there's a full para. At least I got the trick room up. Not much I can do with it now, though. Oh, and you get a paralyze there, but you're probably gonna knock out Ogre Pond. All right, you knock out Ogre Pond. I'm down a poke. I'm technically losing right now. Oh, jeez. Now I don't want to accidentally trigger competitive, so I think I'm gonna go to Nine Tails. Nine Tails surprisingly should still be slower than those. <laughs> And so I will Lance, and I will Aurora Veil. I think I'll Terra now, Lance, and set up Aurora Veil. Because like, if I get full paralyzed again, these discharges are starting to add up. Now, if I had just gone for Terra turn one, I should have seen the discharge coming. I guess that should have been the play. Like, what do they have in the back that really punishes this? I don't know. They probably have Ice Terra Blast. I, I can, another Paralyze! <laughs> well. Oh, they tried a Volt Switch, but it fails. Good. So you are actually slower than my Ninetales. Interesting. You, you must not be max speed. Could just be modest. Okay, can I get an attack off now, please? 
And I'll just throw a Blizzard as backup. Call me that para. <laughs> All my Trick Room is gonna end soon. I think I have two more turns, so I could... I could end this game in two turns. Lance plus Blizzard could get two KOs, and then Lance plus Blizzard could get two KOs. There we go. Now we hit something. How much does that do? KO Kilowattril, of course. No sad. That's good. I get an attack boost. Zub Strike actually hangs on. Good for you. And Blizzard. Goodbye. I could have committed a helping hand to knock that out, but... As far as I knew, I was going to get paralyzed again. Galvantula. Very cool. Did you just bring electric types? And Noivern. Okay. Neither of those is going to live a plus one lance. So, plus one lance. Trick Room's almost over. So I'm going to bring in Incineroar so I can fake out and set Trick Room again, just in case I get full paralyzed here. <laughs> Alright. They're really bringing me low. I'm below half. I didn't, I didn't think they would be doing anything, but... Okay, there's the Lance. That should be two KOs. Good game. Oh, boy. <laughs> you want to deal with the Restricted? Just paralyze it, and don't let it ever attack. Just be really lucky, and they cannot beat you. It's better to be lucky than good. Alright. GG, Will. Okay, Sir Slugs, and here we go. This is a Regulation G battle. Excellent. It's about time. Alright, we solidly want Trick Room. We need Trick Room against this. We are way slower than their entire team. And Calyrex looks really good. Uh, who else do I want? Um, Incineroar would be good for Intimidate on their one physical attacker, who probably has Clear Amulet anyway. <clears throat> uh, getting up Trick Room is important, and I think the only way to guarantee it is with Fiona. Yeah, I think I have to go with Fiona to get up Trick Room. Having Incineroar wouldn't be the worst for the Snarls. Uh, I don't think this is a Gudra game, honestly. Like, I can set up Iron Defense, but then Body Press doesn't do much. And I'm weak to ground. And they have mostly special attackers anyway. Okie dogie should be brought when they have Intimidate, but they don't. So I think it's Ninetales. Getting rid of their weather could be nice anyway. They got two Protosynthesis Mons, a Chlorophyll Mon. Presumably some fire moves somewhere. Let's give this a real shot now. Oh, and they're posing with Heatran. I think they bring Heatran. That can take a Glacial Lance. I'm gonna have to click High Horsepower into that at some point. Groudon Heatran on lead. Incredible. Incredibly bad, honestly. <laughs> I expected Groudon to be bigger. It's big, I mean, don't get me wrong, but... Alright, they're just gonna spread moves. I'm gonna Terra Ground Trick Room. I could turn their weather off. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't think Follow Me is going to be useful here, because I think they're going to use Precipice Blades and Heat Wave. But if I tear a ground, I won't be weak to Heat Wave. Oh, and they swap Groudon. Okay. Into Venusaur. That's cool with me. I'm not actually too concerned about having weather. Oh, and Heatran turned into grass? That's amazing. That's amazing unless they Terra Blasted me or something. 
Hmm, I guess they were worried about the Ivy Cudgel. That could have been a play. I could have brought in Ninetales, changed the weather, and just thrown an Ivy Cudgel at something. That would have been an actually decent play, but that's not what I was thinking of for the end game. It's just Heat Wave. It just completely obliterates Ninetales. Sorry, Ninetales. Thank you for changing the weather, though. Now they have basically no way to stop Glacial Lance, right? I just have to chip a potential Sash on Venusaur? I think that's all it is. Okay, a shiny Rank Master Incineroar. Who moves first? I assume Calyrex? Are you, are you min speed? You're not min speed, but you are slower than Incineroar, so you go first. Glacial Lance. And then since it goes first, I actually want to chip Venusaur's potential Sash first. So that Calyrex can get the KL. Okay, Venusaur just swaps, that's fine. Is it Groudon? Because Groudon's not going to eat this very well. I am happy to hit Groudon like this. Heatran Protect is actually good for me. This puts me in a good position because next turn I can get a double KO. Because Groudon should take one Glacial Lance. Maybe. No, he doesn't even. Okay. <laughs> Plus one already. Love it. I am loving this horse. Alright, bring in your... I don't know. What do you got? I have forgotten every other Pokemon you have, because I'm just clicking Glacial Lance. Tornadus! No! Oh, that is not going to work, buddy. Okay, we've got three whole Trick Room turns left. Youch. You brought every... I mean, you have a ton of Ice Weaknesses. I, I saw that in Team Preview. But then turning Heatran around? I mean, I would have been able to knock it out with high horsepower at some point, but... I think you were a little early on that one. And I'll also Flare Blitz Torn, I guess. It could be Sash on Torn. Um, what could they have? They could have Side Scary Face into, into Life Orb Terra Blast. If they're slow enough, they could Scary Face their own Heatran. Okay, they're not going for priority moves. They must not have it. That's not a common move on Tornadus. And they are both gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's a double Moxie. That's a, that's a double Chilling Nay boost. Do they happen at the same time, or do they happen one after another? I know they used to happen at the same time, but I haven't seen it yet in this game. Rose Sharply. Yeah, you get both of them at once. That's great. And Flare Blitz into nothing. Sorry, Ensign. I know you wanted to play, but it's the horse game. <laughs> well, I really like this. I really like this. I might build my own... Uh, Ice Rider team. I love this a lot. I love so much Glastrier. I love Glastrier so much, but like not having an accurate, strong ice move really holds it back. But Glacial Lance is so good. And Venusaur is not Sash. That's four KOs for the horse. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry, Sir Slugs. Sun does not beat snow. <laughs> Great, great game. All right, what we've got here is an Alolan Doug trio. Yo, I need to be on casual ladder more. This is some, they got some heat. Uh, I think Alolan Doug trio gets Sand Veil, so this could be a genuine threat. Uh, they also have Slow King. They also have Gastrodon, Tyranitar to change up weather, so we're not gonna get Veil. And they also have Corviknight, which is actually a little bit troublesome for Calyrex. It's got great defense. It's not weak to ice. I can't hit it with ground moves. I can't intimidate it. Um, I'm still fine with leading Fake Out. Like, the Intimidate just bounces back into Incineroar. Incineroar's not the damage dealer. And I think I want Trick Room. 
Calyrex should be slower than some of those, but not all of those. I guess I can flex in and out of Trick Room. It's not super important. I actually think this is a decent game for Gudra, too. And Ogre Pond seems good until the Gastrodon Terras. Once the Gastrodon pulls out like Terra Fire or something, Ogre Pond becomes useless. Um, a fighting type could be good. Uh, I think, yeah, I think I want Gudra and King Ruffian here. Just the fighting poison coverage seems really good. You can hit the uh, Tyranitar, can hit the Clefairy, can hit the Dugtrio. Which is honestly scaring me. Uh, good Snorlax card. And also Knockoff can hit the uh, Slow King. Did I call it Slowbro before? It's a Slow King. Slowberry Titar. That's fine. Their Sandstream is faster than Incineroar's Intimidate. That is good to know. And their Clear Amulet Tyranitar. That's also good to know. Yeah, an important thing to note is that Calyrex's uh, as one actually has priority as an ability. So it'll come out first. You don't get to be able to tell speed tiers unless there's like two Calyrexes on the field. And, and I think that's just a function of a nerve. A nerve triggers before abilities. And I'm not 100% certain why. Alright, so we're going to fake out and trick room. Because I'm not too scared of Pippin. And I want to go before Tyranitar. Yep, you flinch. And it's just a moon blast. Okay. I don't care. Whatever. Alright, I don't think I'll be able to sex. I might not be able to successfully high horsepower. Because they could redirect. I do want to Terra, though. Uh, and I would also love to be able to, you know. What's the speed thing on this? 107. That's probably faster than Tyranitar. That's probably slower than Tyranitar. Yeah, parting shot and stuff does nothing. So I think I'm going to go into Gudra now. Start setting that up. And just throw a Glacial Lance. If they were going to let me high horsepower Tyranitar the whole time, I should have gone for it. But I think they will either burn a Terra of some kind, or just use Follow Me. Alright, my Terra's going first. All that means is they're not tearing the Clefairy. Which, honestly, the Clefairy should be moving first. If they have some... They could have some shenanigans. It learns after you, which is good to counter Trick Room. Just after you, your partner. It learns Sing, but they're just going for Follow Me, as I expected. Glacial, Glacial Lance, I'm hoping, is a two-shot on both. It's not on Tyranitar. But Rock Slide, that won't do anything. Excellent. Alright, the Lance is going to KO Clefairy. I'm very happy about that. And... I, I don't remember the speeds between these two. Who goes first? 70, 61. Okay, good. Glacial Lance goes first. And then we can... And then we can Heavy Slam Tyranitar just to cover for, like, Terra Ghost. Because Glacial Lance would cover for Terra Flying or something. Oh! Heal Pulse! Good play! And there's no Terra. I guess I could have just body pressed. I don't think Heavy Slam will pick it up from here. But it's fine. We got an attack boost. I think I'm in a good position. And what do you got, T-Tar? Yeah, that doesn't do much of anything. You're heavy. Just a knockoff of my clear amulet doesn't even do half. I'm fine with that. You are in Glacial Lance range. I should be setting up Gudra. I probably should have just sheltered and accepted that Tyranitar was going to get a hit off. I didn't expect Heal Pulse on Clefairy, honestly. That's not an uncommon move, but I don't think it's in, like, the top four moves. 
Um, there's Doug Trio. I'm gonna shelter because that might be my best play against Doug Trio. I don't really know. I know that one doesn't get Arena Trap. And I'm just gonna throw another Lance and see what happens. Okay, they protect the Sahara. I get it, Sahara. Glacial Lance is blocked, and let me guess, you dodge? No, no dodge, good. Uh, Sash by chance? No Sash, and a crit! I don't think I needed the crit, I already had plus one. And that's another attack boost. And now Shelter's going up, so I've got a defense boost. I've got two powerful sweepers here, and I'm loving it. Peanut. Who is Peanut? Aw, oh, Peanut. Poor thing. I'll body press you and I will Glacial Lance and the battle will be cancelled. GG. GG. Prop for using Doug Trio. I don't know what it was supposed to do though. Okay, Juniper. You've got a Koridon team. Alright, we're facing Sun again, but a different version. I think Koridon hits way too hard. I'm actually scared of this thing. <sighs> Their team is so fast, it's gotta be a Trick Room game. Clefairy's like the only slow thing they have. Um, is there any problem with a fake out lead? No, right? The only problem with a fake out lead is they could get a hit off with one and not the other. But with Intimidate down, that could be pretty good. If I go Ogre Pond, it could just like get KO'd by Koridon, and then like an Ivy Cudgel goes into this thing. So yeah, I want Fake Out on the lead. Turning off Snow could be good. Do I like Gudra here? I don't hate Gudra. I think Gudra's pretty good, and I think Ogre Pond probably. Nine Tails turning off the weather isn't bad, but it just doesn't do anything into any of those. Ah, uh, but turning off the weather could be really good, especially against the Ivy Cudgel friend, especially against Koridon. I'm worried that it's just a Koridon Ogre Pond lead. And they just throw a powerful hit. Oh, Claude Sire! I love Claude Sire! <clears throat> okay, Ogre Pun. That's fine. Oh, this is fine. I don't care about this. Yeah, this is okay. I get the Intimidate off on your Ogre Pond, which is excellent. Uh, glacial lances will do a lot, but the but being uh, if you tear a fire. But I'm gonna just set trick room and fake you out. I can't afford you going for like swords dance follow me. That would cause a problem. And then the question is whether I should tear up or not. Because if I just set snow, I could get a defense boost that can't be critted through. Uh, but I guess if I turn into a ground type, I don't know what the right play is. This is a moon blast into Incineroar, okay. You just want a little chip on that, I guess. I think while they're focusing down Calyrex, I could probably get set up with Gudra. Do I want to bring in Ninetales? I'd rather bring in Gudra, honestly. So I need to Terra, Glacial Lance. And I will try to just Parting Shot out. It probably gets redirected into Clefairy. I'm guessing they Terra their Ogre Pond here and use Follow Me. And then probably Ivy Cudgel into the Glass Sphere. Probably. Not Glass Sphere. Calyrex, Ice Rack. Better glass for here. Yep, here's their Terra. Uh. 
There is still the problem of I'm weak to grass now. But I mean, I could always swap into Incineroar. I might have to go for a second round of Trick Room in this one. Just to follow me as expected, as you should be doing. Let's see how much Glacial Lance does to an Ogre Pond Fire. Decent, and half to Clefairy. I like to see that. Alright, and you gave up your Bolt Breaker, so you cannot crit through Goo for that. Which is excellent for me. Yep, it's just Ivy Cudgel, probably into Calyrex, as long as it doesn't crit. Well, that still did a lot, though. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're gonna go into Incineroar. Protect life do and do that play later, even though it burns my own trick room turns. I think that's a better play. Oh, Clefairy swap. Into Coridon, got it. Well, now I kind of wish I had gone for the shelter. But I like healing up Coridon for later. Not Coridon. Like I like healing up Calyrex for later. I'm not used to these names yet. I've never played with some of these Pokemon. And just a cudgel, that's fine. Cool. Should be two Trick Room turns left, yep. Time to send out an Intimidate. And put up my first shelter. Then with an extra fake out turn or even a parting shot. Oh, I'm glad you're not clear, Amulet. But I'm scared of what that might mean you do have. Because Collision Course at plus two defense might still hurt. I get that you're also at minus one attack. This is gonna do a chunk. Good lord, it did way over half. And then Horn Leech bounces off harmlessly. You're probably gonna want to get Ogre Pond out, if anything. I'm gonna wanna. F I'm just gonna fake out and set up another shelter. I need more shelters. That collision course does way too much damage. But what I can do next turn is turn off the Aura Calcum Pulse with Nine Tails. And then try to take a KO on something with Body. I think that's probably the play. This Gudra doesn't have a uh, protect. So I need to eat up both of these hits now. And to do that, bringing in Ninetales will weaken both of these hits, because Ivy Cudgel won't have the sun boost, and Coridon won't have its ability triggered anymore. So that's fine. Question is whether I go for Light Dew or Body Press. I think I want to do damage. I want to do damage while the doing damage is good. I don't expect an Oko. I mean, it's a Koridon. Gudra's not the kind of thing that just takes Okos left, right, and center. Uh, Swords Dance from Ogre Pond. Fine, don't care. That's fine by me. Collision Course. Oh, did you switch, switch, switch targets there? Ninetales takes that easy. And it's a two shot on Coridon? Thank you. Now, do you read the instant swap in? 
do I care? I do not care. I'm bringing in Insin now. And I think finishing off Koridon is better than anything else I could do. If I can finish off Koridon, Gudra would be in a great position. Uh, they may swap that slot into, like, what, Fluttermane? But I don't think they are swapping because we swapped first. They'd have to be a pretty slow Koridon. They are a slow Koridon. Okay, good to know. They are slow. Slower than Ninetales. And Ivy Cudgel is just into the Incinero slot. Alright, you're not reading me, really. Do I have a berry? Thank you! I like me a berry. How much does Body Press do? Almost all of it. Happy with that. Okay, Koridon is left. Um, I need to get Incineroar out, honestly. I need the Intimidates for later, and probably the Fake Outs for later. So I think I... No, I don't want to go into Ninetales, though. I think I'll Parting Shot here. Set up my final Shelter. I guess I could intentionally not take a KO. Yeah, I could just not take a KO here. On purpose. Just to heal up both of these. I like that play. That way your Ogre Pond can't do nothing, including Swords Dance, which I know you want to do. And I can just heal all the way back up. Now, you probably get a Swords Dance here, right? Who moves first? Incineroar moves first. If Flare Blitz can knock out the Clefairy, I can then body press Ogre Pond. I'm happy with that play. This is a good match. Yeah, it is Sword Sands. Okay. Hopefully I get the knockout here with Body Press. Hopefully I get the knockout with Blur Blitz. Yeah, and then Friend Guard disappears, and I can Body Press you. I'm not at plus six. I'm only at plus four. I got greedy and wanted to Life do in the middle of that. Come on, be enough. It's enough. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now we get to see their final mod. They've got Koridon. I might immediately turn off the uh, sun. Collision course at plus two did a little over half. We're now at plus four, so it should do under half. Uh, and then Walking Wake. I can turn off its Protosynthesis too, but that's not gonna be very important unless it gets special attack. If it gets special attack, I really want to turn that off. Oh, it is special attack. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting nine tails in here now. Who we know is faster than their Koridon. And who's the bigger threat? They're both enormous threats. Uh, but I'm gonna knock out Koridon because I know it's in KO range. And body press go right on. Because we've body pressed it before, we know how much it'll do. I don't think I would knock out Wake, and leaving them with two Mons left is not the position I want to be in. Nine Tails could go down. Like, this this is a pretty obvious swap. If they want to read it, that's fine by me. It's a stomping tantrum. That's not going to do it. It wasn't really a read, and they're just going to drag the ball. Yeah, with Protosynthesis, that would have done half. All right, go right on down. I think we got this. And they already burned Terra, so I can just throw a Moon Blast and a Body Press, and they will go down. Good, I do have Moon Blast. And Body Press. 
Battle was canceled. GG, taking a dub versus Sun, even though that was mostly Gudra, not too much Calyrex. All right, we're back with the rental. That was a ton of fun. Uh, casual ladder is so different. <laughs> Uh, there were a couple good Regulation G battles in there. Apparently Snow beat Sun. Go tell all your friends. Uh, but we also got to fight some cute, I'd say, Mons that you don't usually get to see. I love doing that. L like some of those Mons, the uh, Electric team, you're not going to be able to see that once the actual Regulation comes out. So it's cool to see that now. Anyways, if you like this video, leave a like on it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'm Jordy. And, uh... Alright, peace.